Hi, everybody. Um, sorry I'm a little late today. I have like today. Um, all right. Okay, why not? Um, okay, it came out, but it took a while um, that uh, Phyllis Michelle Stafford had something to do with Jeremy's murder. Um, because I think she tried to put it as self-defense. Um, but yeah. Um, okay. So there's that. And then, uh, let's see what else is going on. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nick and Victoria. Oh my God. They had it out. Um, because Nick knows that Victoria's having a relationship with, um, Nate. Okay, I think everybody knows it. But, um, so, he was saying, what are you doing? Whenever you mix business and pleasure, it doesn't work out. You know? And then she says, <laughs> but, but sh he should have known Victoria had her own ammo ready to go. Because she, she says, um, well, I, I, how long was it before people knew about you and, and Sally? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, okay. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Um, I mean, just, just Phyllis and Summer seeing each other, or Summer f seeing Phyllis, and Phyllis was completely truthful with Summer. Okay, now, this is a part that I don't really... <sighs> Um, whenever I see something like this, I don't really like it because it questions your ethical boundaries and like, what would you do with your family? Okay, what would you do to your family and what would you ask your family to do for you? Okay, so then Phyllis and Summer see each other in the park and Summer gets over the emotion. It takes a while, but she gets over it and then she starts asking questions like, um, you know, what happened? Why would you do this? Why would you let your family and friends think you're dead? All the stuff I was saying about before, um, she questioned her and then Summer, being a good, honest person, um, wants everyone to know the truth, but Phyllis says, no, no, no. If people knew the truth, they wouldn't like me and they couldn't forgive me. So then Summer digs a little deeper and says, okay, so how involved are you? Like, what happened? Then uh, Phyllis says she had something to do with Jeremy's death. And then she says, but you can't tell anybody. So my question is, this is completely an ethical question, ethics question. Um... What, what would you want your family to do for you? And how far are you willing to go to protect somebody in your family? I have a problem with a mother putting their child or a parent, because it could be a father also, but a parent, parent putting a child into an ethical dilemma like that of... And, and turning it into how much do you love me kind of a thing. I'm not really for that. Oh, I forgot. The biggest, uh, well, I forgot for a second. The biggest storyline we got today. <laughs> okay. Nate versus Elena. Ooh, okay. It got hot for a second. And I don't mean hot, passionate, I mean hot, angry. Okay, so Nate is now a cheating, lying boyfriend. Um, and it's clearly evident in today's episode. Okay, what I'm referring to, yesterday, a little bitty piece of yesterday was... Victoria asked Nate to go with her on a business trip to help with the business and some kind of whatever to acquire another company or something, right? So he says, well, 
I wouldn't feel too good about that and whatever. So basically she forces his hand and uh, and then he agrees, of course. Okay, so today, I guess Nate had the task of telling Elena what his plans are, which uh, I say task that way because everything is just so laborious for them at this point. And it's either boring, like really boring, or really laborious, I, I can't take it. Because, okay, and this is speaking from a person who's had three substantial relationships in my life, okay? If my partner doesn't tell me, like just tell me what the hell's going on with them in a conversational manner, I'm starting to wonder what's going on. It, it makes me feel like she has to force the information out of him, which I don't really agree with. And then when he does give information, he lies about it. Okay, so first of all, he says, I have to pack for a trip. Then he says, then she asked him, Elena asked him, well, are you going alone? You're going with Victoria? So then he plays the I'm going alone card. Okay. Number first mistake or whatever. Number two. So he he's now lied to her tw twice at least. Of Victoria is going with him. And he does know what's going on. And he's not going to be alone. So it's not like poor Nate. Okay, kind of a thing. All right, so then number three, and she catches him in this. Uh, first, he tries to play the alone thing, and then he says, but we, so Elaine catches it and says, why do you say we? Well, I mean Victoria, and then he tries to cover his ass and, like, say, well, but, yeah, no, we're not going together, but, you know, for the company, company, you know, whatever. Um, okay, Nate, Sean Dominic, I like you as a person, you're really chill, as a character, I don't like you, I haven't liked you for a while, because, okay, on the one hand, there's, there's two things here, they need to write Elena like a freaking woman with a brain, number one. Number two, they need to write Nate or do something to where he's not a lying, cheating guy, okay? Because in the beginning, he was a nice guy. A doctor wants to care for people, yada, yada, yada. Then he hurts his hand because of Devon, whatever. And he totally turns into somebody else. Okay, now, I've heard a personality ships and whatever but man this guy is like the ultimate okay i i don't like you i really don't like you and i liked i liked you somewhat in the beginning i at least said okay good guy they have turned him who and then made elena like elena is doormat city What? Okay, you're gonna make somebody that dumb and put her with somebody like that? Like a guy like that? Wow. Um, alright. Bye guys.